Today I am back again with another Christmas song, and today I'm going to be playing Joy to the World on my wonderful Hammond B3. But before I do that, I want to tell you a little bit about Joy to the World, because it's rather interesting, and also about the Hammond B3 and why I decided to play Joy to the World on the Hammond B3. Now, of course, I'm sure all of you are familiar with Joy to the World, the very famous Christmas song, but something that I didn't know about it, and maybe you guys didn't know about it either, is it was actually written in 1719, so it's a really, really old Christmas song, and all of the lyrics in the song were actually taken from the Bible from various psalms and such by a man named Isaac Watts. Now, another funny thing, if you want, you can go back on my channel, and I'll put a link in the comment section and the description of this video of a very old video, one of the, probably one of the first videos I ever uploaded to YouTube, I'm like nine years old and I'm playing this exact song on my piano that I had at the time and it's very very funny It's it's absolute gold. Honestly. It's amazing. So if you want to you can go check that out It's rather amusing and I also say Isaac Watts's name in a really funny way and every time I say his name now I can't help but think of that time in that video many years ago where I said his name really funny It's it's funny. I don't know. I just like it So if you want to you can go check that out after you watch this video because it's kind of fun uh, To hear what it sounds like on the piano being played by nine-year-old me and then also played on the b3 today now, the Hammond B3 is an absolutely wonderful instrument, and it's one of my favorite things that I have in my studio, along with my Concert Grand Steinway and my Concert Grand Marimba. It's an absolutely wonderful instrument, and the main reason I wanted to play Joy to the World on the Hammond B3, there's actually two reasons. One is, part of the magic of the Hammond B3 is not is really the sound of it, and the reason that it has such a wonderful sound is because of the draw bars. What they do is they allow you to basically have control over each harmonic frequency in the song in the notes, so you can actually change all of these. As you can hear, every time I pulled out a drawbar, a new um, a new frequency in the harmonic series came on, and you can really change that and get a wide variety of really awesome sounds. And so that's one reason I really wanted to be able to tailor the sound specifically for this song, and I think that I did a decent job of that. And the other reason I wanted to play Joy to the World on this instrument is because it has a very loud, very grand, very wonderful sound, and very warm and full and awesome. And I think that's the song that Joy uh, that's a sound that Joy to the World needs. And so I just thought that it fit very well on the Hammond B3. So let's let me play it for you guys, and hopefully you enjoy it. So hope you guys enjoyed that performance of Joy to the World on the Hammond B3. I think the Leslie speaker really adds another extra dimension to that piece as well because you can change it and kind of give it a chorus effect in the louder parts of the song and you can really alter that and give it a really cool sound. And that's another reason that I wanted to play this piece on the Hammond B3 to really make use of the Leslie speed switching which a lot of you guys love to hear the sound of it spool up and spool down. So I also wanted to use that in this piece as well because I know a lot of you guys, including myself, love that sound. 
So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, the Hammond B3 is awesome, and I think that worked really, really well on this instrument. That song is awesome, and it's another one of my uh, longtime favorites. I liked it when I was like nine. And again, if you want to, you can go check out that video because it's actually kind of funny to see how I played the song. It's actually really hilarious. So if you want to, you can go check that out. You can also go check out my channel. I've got lots of videos on how the B3 works. I show you the inside of the Leslie speaker and how that does its stuff. And I've also got lots of other videos on pianos and organs and all kinds of cool stuff on my channel. So if you want to go check that out, you can. And if you do, thank you very much. And if you want to subscribe, thank you very much as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.